Hey, what's up guys? Casey Ferris here. Thanks for checking out another video of mine here on YouTube. Today we are talking about how to make some simple graphics for your video using the Fusion tab in Resolve. Let's take a look at what we're going to be making today. Ah, the mountains are nice. Yeah. So this is something just pretty simple, pretty clean, but we can learn some basic concepts on how the Fusion tab works, how graphics work, and it's pretty simple for like a first project. By the way, if you find yourself working in Resolve, needing some graphics, check out our Fusion Titles pack. Easiest way to find that is type fusiontitles.com. That'll bring you right to our page for Fusion Titles for Editors. It's a collection of 21 different title templates that are designed for DaVinci Resolve 15. You can just drag them into your timeline. You can edit fonts and words and colors and everything that you need. It's just some simple, clean titles that work really well for just about any project. So if you're looking for graphics, check that out. So here I have my background video, something nice looking. Oh yeah. It's just a photo for now so we can play around with the graphics. First thing I'm gonna do is drag a text plus layer into my timeline. That's not because I actually wanna use the text plus, it's just a really quick way to be able to make something that I can adjust in Fusion. So I'm gonna select it and click the Fusion tab. Now that I'm in here, I'm just gonna delete this part that says template. Now I pretty much have a blank space to work on stuff inside of Fusion. By the way, if you don't know how Fusion works at all, check out this video right here, and I'll kind of try and explain things as I go along here, but definitely check that out if you're not familiar with Fusion to get a little bit more of well-rounded knowledge. So first thing I'm gonna do is add a background node. So I'm gonna hit Control Spacebar, that brings up my select tools, and I'm gonna type BG, that's for background. Then with background selected, I'm gonna hit Control Spacebar and type text and I'll go down to text plus, and that will add not only a text node, but a merge node. And it's gonna merge that text over the background, which is what I want, and I can just grab this merge node and connect it to media out. Make sure media out is connected in my viewer, and everything should be good. So if I type text, okay, let's go with that, because that's true, ain't nobody gonna argue that. I'll change this font, I'm gonna use Babus New. I don't know how you say that, Babus? Maybe you should say Babus, Babus New. That's what I'm going to use. I'm going to scroll down to horizontal anchor and anchor it to the left. And now I'm going to adjust the sizing of my background. The way the background node works in Fusion is kind of weird. If I were to resize this background, it would resize the entire composition, which is not what I want. So what I'm going to do is just add a transform node after the background. Control space bar XF, and that will add a transform node. I'm going to unclick use size and aspect and bring down my Y size a little bit. That's pretty good. And I'm gonna grab the little handle here and let's just put it, I don't know, something like that. We'll reset our Y center to 0.5 and I'll move my text over here, size it up to be something kinda like that. So now we have a basic composition here. We have our text over this kind of background layer. One thing I'm gonna do is go to my background node and scroll down to the color where it says alpha and I'll just take that down to like 0.7 or so. Save this and I'll switch back to my edit tab and I can take a look at how this looks. So the mountains are nice. It looks nice. It's clean. One thing I want to do is add a little subtitle here. I'm going to go back to fusion. Quickest way for me to do this, I'll select the text layer, hit control C and I'll click where I want that text layer to be and hit control V and I can grab the output and drag it to the output of my merge node and that will merge it over that output. And now if I move this, you'll see we have duplicate text and let's say September climbing 2017, right? So maybe this is a little recap video of a climbing trip you went on. You know, just, just make little stories here. You know, this is your world. I've been watching so much Bob Ross, it's insane. Okay, so the mountains are nice. September climbing 2017 adjust these, move them around. I think it'd be cool to put a little line in between here too. There's a hundred ways that I can do that. I think what I'm gonna do is just add another background and merge it over. And let's say I'll do like a blue. And I can either resize this background or add a mask. We already resized it, so let's add a mask. I'm gonna hit Control Space Bar and type REC. That's gonna bring up a rectangle mask. And then I can resize this mask, something like that. Maybe I want to adjust the text color here, make it a little bit less bright. So let's switch back over to our edit tab. The mountains are nice, September climbing, 2017. Yeah, hey, that looks good. But oh snap, 
we have this guy on this end. Maybe we want to have it come in from the other side. Let's go back to Fusion. Now I'm gonna do something really tricky with these nodes because I don't wanna move these individually. I could do that. It would probably just take a second, but it's probably smarter to do something like this. I'm gonna unhook my transform from my merge. And I'm gonna take that output and just drag it to the output of my very last merge like this. And that is going to merge my background over all my text stuff right here. I'll delete my first merge and connect my text in there. So now we have all of our text stuff and all of our background stuff getting merged together. And the advantage of that is I can grab this last merge node and I can move those all at once. So what I'll do is grab my transform here and I'll move this to come in from the other side, grab my merge node, and I can adjust all of that pretty darn quickly. Let's see how it looks. That doesn't suck. So last thing, why don't we do a little bit of simple animation here? I'm gonna go back to Fusion and we're just gonna have this background slide in and then maybe we'll fade in the text. So the things that we need to keyframe are the transform, and the merge because we can adjust our foreground layer using that merge. So I'm gonna grab this transform, gonna move to, I don't know, frame 20 and make a keyframe. And then I'll move to the beginning of the composition and just get this baby out of there. Get this baby out of there. So now, shoop, it slides in. At the end, we're gonna want it to slide out. So we're gonna do a similar thing, set a keyframe about 20 frames from the end and then at the very end, slide this back off. So now we have this sliding on and sliding off. That's good. So after this is all the way on, we want this text to fade in. So let's have that be 10 frames or so. We're gonna go to our last merge layer and scroll down to blend, set a keyframe, then we'll bring it back to frame 20 and bring the blend all the way down. Same thing at the end set a keyframe at 210 and then at 220, blend all the way down. So now we have this coming in, bing, yeah. So we have the basic animation, let's smooth it out a little bit. I'm gonna grab the spline panel and select everything, give us a little bit of room here and I'll hit this button right here that will focus all of our keyframes. Basically, I want the inner keyframes to be flat. So I'm just gonna select all of those with a marquee select and just hit F on my keyboard. That's gonna flatten out all my keyframes. So it slides in, kind of slows down. I'm gonna save that, switch back over to edit. There we go. The mounts are nice. We'll add just a little dynamic zoom over this. Oh yeah, shuk ting Yeah, <laughs> the mountains are nice. You're right, graphics. You're so right. That's a little guide on how to do some basic graphics inside of the Fusion tab of DaVinci Resolve 15. Again, if you're looking for some titles for Fusion that are pre-built and you can just open them up and change what you need, Fusion Titles for Editors Volume 1 is available now at groundcontrolcolor.com. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. If you like this, hit like. And for more DaVinci Resolve tutorials, make sure to hit subscribe on my channel on YouTube. And we'll be even better friends than we are now. Yeah. Anyway, that about does it for me. My name is Casey Ferris. I will catch you next time.